What's going on everybody, Trailblazer891 here, and I want to welcome you back to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. Earlier today, they released the video for the Advanced Warfare DLC Havoc, and that's what we're going to be talking about. Havoc is the first DLC pack for Advanced Warfare, and in it you'll be getting four new maps. They're called Sideshow, Core, Drift, and Urban. You'll also be getting the new Exo Zombie Co-op mode, and a new multiplayer weapon called the AE-4 Widowmaker. First of all, let's talk about the new maps. Sideshow looks pretty awesome. Uh, it looks to be a clown-themed hotel with a giant clown sign in the middle of the map. This map will be very open with a lot of nice overwatch positions for those of you who like to snipe. If you have a phobia of clowns, you might have a tough time with this map because it looks like there's clowns everywhere in this map. The giant clown sign in the middle of the map will uh, shoot bombs out at certain point during the match and uh, you can grab these bombs and use them against your enemy. Urban looks to take place in a metropolis prison facility area that should bring some close quarter combat. You'll probably want to stick to something like an SMG or a shotgun or anything that allows you to move more quickly. At some point during the match, the prison will go into lockdown mode in certain lines of sight and paths will change that will change the way you play the map. Core is a destroyed nuclear fusion facility in the middle of the desert. This map will have three very distinct lanes of traffic to maneuver through that should give you some long lines of sight. In the middle of the map, there will be an area that will be very open and probably have several ways in and out of that area and should be a very active hot zone of gunfight. This map also has decontamination drones that will pop up out of the ground and go after whoever the nearest enemy is to them. The last map is called Drift, and it's a ski resort in the Rocky Mountains, and this will have a very active center of the map that features a children's carousel that will spin, and you can lay down on that and just have a 360 view of the whole map and try to hold down that position. There's also some great vantage points over the center of the map that should give you the ability to control large portions of that map. Now on this map, halfway through the match, there will be an avalanche that takes place and it will block one of the key paths through the map. Now this is going to totally change the way you play the map. It's going to take away a crucial uh, path through the map, so that's really going to change how everyone plays the map. Uh, we've seen this on the last couple of uh, Call of Duties. They've done things like this, so it should be pretty cool. The AE-4 Widowmaker is the DLC weapon that comes with this uh, map pack. Uh, it's a directed energy assault rifle that will have increased mobility and handling. And because of it, it's an energy weapon, you don't have to worry about reloading. You just have to make sure that it doesn't overheat. This weapon looks pretty cool. Uh, now, the increased mobility and handling are a plus, but from the gameplay that is in the video, it does look like it has a reduced fire rate, so they did kind of nerf the fire rate, um, but have given you better handling and mobility. And then everyone's favorite, zombies are back, but with a twist. The new zombie mode will be co-op, but the zombies will have exo abilities as well. The zombies will be able to exo jump, exo burst, and that should make the zombie mode that everyone has had a ton of fun with over the years make it very, very interesting and really kind of change up how you play zombies and how we've played zombies in the past. This DLC pack uh, will be on Xbox Live starting January 27th, and I would assume that everyone else will get it around a month later is kind of how it works with Call of Duty. The DLC pack looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play, new weapon, should bring uh, fresh gameplay to even the older maps. And then the new four new maps look like they're going to be a ton of fun to play and explore. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to keep getting videos, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you next time.